Hello everyone, Neon Genesis here with again another video I wouldn't normally do. I know I've strayed a little bit from gameplay videos, but rest assured they will be back soon. In this video today I wanted to talk about Final Fantasy VII and why I love this game and why it holds such a special place in my heart. So to kickstart this video, I'll start by saying the first Final Fantasy I ever played was Final Fantasy VII, back in 1997 after me and my brother had begged my mum for a PlayStation. My mum finally gave in and said that we could have a PlayStation and that we wouldn't get anything else for Christmas or our birthdays. Sure enough, we both opened our presents on Christmas Day to find our beloved PlayStation. Much to our amazement, we got some other bits for Christmas as well. Though one of them was socks, but we were still more than happy. My brother had also put on the Christmas list that he wanted Final Fantasy VII. I wasn't sure what this game even was, so I just let him be. I was just happy to be playing the PlayStation. I was 10 years old and had never seen such a graphic game. Me and my brother had discussed it and he'd said that he would play first and that when he died, it would be my turn. We turned the game on, clicked new game and we watched a brilliant opening with absolute amazement as it kicked off our amazing adventure. Cloud jumped out of the train, my jaw had just dropped down to the floor. I immediately loved this character. Already, my hands were itching to play this game. My brother continued on where we encountered our first fight. We had no idea what to expect. We had never played an RPG before, so the battle system was very unique. We continued on while me and my brother were advising each other on how to use the battle system. Before you know it, my brother named Cloud his name, and he named Barrett me. Again, we continued on until we finally hit our first boss, the Scorpion Guard. To my disappointment and slight amusement, my brother died. My brother's screaming, I attacked while its tail was up, what did we do wrong? I was relieved he died, as it was now my go. I got the controller, gripped it tightly in excitement, only to get as far as my brother got, and died again, on the Scorpion Guard. It was only a few attempts later until we'd realised that there was a save point, but we both looked at each other as we knew it needed a memory card. I went to my mum and begged her to get us a memory card until she finally gave in and said she would go after work tomorrow if we did some cleaning jobs around the house. That night, we discovered in the back of the instructions there was a small guide to get us through the first part of the game, and past the Scorpion Guard. Excited to try the game again, but impatient as we were, we did our cleaning jobs, went to school the next day. We came home from school the next day, and my mum had delivered. She had got the memory card. We threw our school bags down and ran to our PlayStation, put the memory card in, and started the game up again. My brother played as I read out the guide to get us past the scorpion guard, though my brother died once again. He had forgotten to save Jesse's leg, and to save the game, as we weren't used to saving games at all. My brother reading the instructions this time, we got past the scorpion guard, saved Jesse's leg, and before you knew it, we were jumping off a bridge onto a train. I was in complete amazement, as I'd never experienced such a beautiful and exciting game. Days went by as we witnessed Cloud making friends, meeting Ares, dressing up as a girl, and climbing up to the Shinra building. Cloud was slowly becoming my hero. A week or so went by and finally witnessed Aeris' death scene. 
I was distraught. I was ten years old and had grown to love Ares as one of our companions until I saw the Change to Disc 2 sign came up. We changed to Disc 2 and continued our journey. Months went by and I was slowly becoming more and more obsessed with this game. The characters, the story, the journey, the adventure, everything. I would play this game when I was sad, happy, needing comfort or needed excitement. This game would never fail to deliver. I went through bullying during my younger years, at school, around my neighbourhood, pretty much everywhere. And I remember I would come home to play Final Fantasy VII. I would play the game hoping I could be like my heroes in Final Fantasy VII and be strong like Cloud. It was slowly becoming my place to escape reality and go into my own fantasy, which had slowly become Final Fantasy. I would use their will to help others, save others, care for others and teach myself that it was a way of life that I must follow. It had taught me that no matter who you are, and if you needed help and I can give it, I'll do everything in my power to do that. To this day, I still want to help people, care for people, make friends, and even still play the game for comfort in times of need. You see, this game isn't just a normal game to me. This game has taught me many things. It's given me the lessons in life that I feel are precious and has taught me to care for people, my friends, and do whatever I can to help others. It's also taught me that, no matter who you are, we all need help at times. I know this might sound cheesy to some people, but this is what Final Fantasy VII means to me. I know some people don't enjoy or like Final Fantasy VII, but to me, it was my escape for years. It was my best friend when I needed it for comfort. It has been my teacher and taught me many lessons in my life. Final Fantasy VII has been my fantasy. Thank you for listening and watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and as Cloud and the Avalanche crew would say, there ain't no getting off of this train we're on. If you guys have any memories of Final Fantasy VII, let me know them in the comments below. Did you have similar adventures like mine? Does Final Fantasy VII mean something to you? Or any other game for that matter? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like if you like this video and if you would like to see another video like this about another Final Fantasy, be sure to let me know as I have so many memories of the Final Fantasy games. Until the next fantasy guys, happy gaming.